extent, obviously, some people get this on there. Yeah. Um, not to the extent that obviously some people have, but I have uh, experienced it when I was younger, um, I, and that was uh, you know a family member, um, and uh, my partner uh, again same you know family member. You hear statistics like um, like you know one in four have been abused, and you think I mean I was actually having a discussion with someone the other week, and, and we were like that. But then when I actually thought about it, and I'm thinking back to what my friends have told me as well, and I'm thinking bloody hell, you know what? It probably is. It probably is that bad. And it's, uh, I mean, it's a situation that people seem to bury their heads whenever they hear about it, whenever they hear, um, you know, child abuse or anything to do with sex, or kind of the British way or whatever, you know. Do you want to tell me who you are now? Huh? Tell me who you are and why you're here. Uh, right. What's the group? Uh, the group is um, Op Death Eaters. Uh, it's uh, part of the anonymous uh, operation uh, against um, institutional paedophilia. Uh, I mean, there was a lot of uh, high-ranking officials uh, that are getting protected by you know their peers, by um, you know sort of whatever means they can. Really, there's uh, there's an obvious cover up. Uh, and Could I ask? Is uh, sociological values? Would you put the abuse of minors and children mm. when it seemed to be done by the establishment? Most people say there's a protection going on. Yeah. Uh, do you think that's because that's you, we perceive this as their privilege because of their rank and their lifestyle? Or of their uh, their class structure. It's I mean it's definitely because of uh, it's entirely because of who they are. Um, I mean we've seen uh, statements coming out such as uh, you know the official secrets act um, being used to protect uh, these you know sort of high ranking pedophiles. Why on earth are they using the official secrets act if it's something that's so you know outrageous that people are just going to stop working or refuse to you know sort of play the game anymore? You know. People are really um, getting pretty pissed off with the fact that they're being lied to constantly. They're happy to, you know, sort of convict uh, the guy next door. You know, I mean, uh, what was it Operation Notarise uh, recently, within the last year, um, we've charged 250 odd people out of 700 people. 518 uh, kids were removed from danger. Um, if you look at the CSA inquiry, what's it done? You know, it was set up to to delay everything. It seems we've heard nothing. We've heard no justice. The recent thing with Jana. You know, what kind of message is that going to send out to, uh, to survivors? It's a double-edged sword. You've got people that are going to say, well, nothing's going to get done if I come out and speak, you know, and put my heart on the line to say what I've gone through. Uh, at the same time, you've got other people that say, OK, look, he's done this and he hasn't been got, so we'll come out and do it. We're fed up with playing the game now. You know, it's time to get answers. So this is why you came here today, really, is to stand your ground against... Uh, yeah. A, and it's a Sunday, and it's been here in the background. It's a marathon day. Yeah. So you was hoping to gather more attention because this exactly. is a family orientated um, event it's, isn't it's it yeah, yeah. There, there's a critical mass going on with regards to people but uh, where, who are their, uh, where's their mindset what are they looking at right now you know yeah. I mean well, okay you know everyone's allowed to you know sort of come out and enjoy a bit of fun but right now there's something that needs dealing with it it's not being dealt with I mean we can't you know you can't do a citizen's arrest you know we can't invoke the common law against uh, paedophilia you know, it's, uh, it's a statutory uh, situation. You need the um, all the, the procedures in place that are there in place to protect people. You know, survivors, children. You're so. telling me that the procedures to arrest anyone who's suspected of paedophilia is, has to be done by the book? I else you don't get a conviction. It could be crossed out like that. Snap of a finger. A judge's decision. You've not got the right paperwork. You didn't arrest these people properly. You have no witnesses. This is what you're saying. This is it. This, this is the problem. So, and so Oper Oper Operation Death Eater, mm. Op Death Eaters. Your um, your, your aim is to change that law or to it's well, because you're hiding behind the anonymity, uh, the anonymous and the occupation movement. Yeah. And when I say you're hiding, I mean you're you're deliberately not letting yourselves be known to others. Uh, as as human beings, as in a cause, mm. you know, you're not as well known as say Nelson Mandela behind us or mm -hmm. uh, um, Gandhi. You're not you're not having a leadership structure. Yeah. that's that's really what I meant. Uh, yeah, I'm asking too many questions. No, 